Alright, Sky Guys, so what were your immediate thoughts when you first saw the trailer? I was like, oh, it's actually true. Okay, what is this? And I watched it through, and I was I was intrigued with the trailer, how it... I, I liked... I really liked how it's um, it's combining the smartphone audience, which is Pokemon Go, with a yeah. side game, which is Pikachu Let Pikachu and Eevee Let's Go, which I just noticed the Go is in the name and all that junk and yada yada yada. Yeah. And then it and then it uh, only uses um 150 Pokemon that be from the original gen, nothing new. And so from the leaks, I immediately. I immediately assume it wasn't the main core game at, that they said was releasing in 2018 or later. Yeah. But other than that, um, yeah, the the entire concept of the game looks cool. Like you're able to um, play with a Joy-Con or have a friend come with you, and you can do tag battles against other people and whatnot. Yeah, I if I had money, I would <laughs> buy it. <laughs> yeah, I. I agree, I definitely think it looks cool, but I'm going to be completely honest, not only did I think it would be, did I not think the leaks were true, I thought it was beyond crap and I was hoping it wouldn't come true, because uh, <laughs> the website, the website I typically get my news from, will regularly read for, uh, one of the people who said there was going to be a Pokemon announcement this month, the issue is, she worked at Nintendo like a year ago, and we're still it's right. still citing her as a source. I'm just like, okay. Uh, she's been wrong before, just like, ah, uh, and I wanted her to be catastrophically wrong about this, but she happened to be right. And was like, ugh. But on I the other hand, you know. Wrong. Huh? Oh no, keep going, keep going. On the other hand, yeah, I'm, I'm not complaining about a game. I haven't touched Pokemon Go in a long time. Uh, <laughs> Same here. I mean, it's... But uh, I wanted it to be wrong just to see everyone cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have also been a lot of fun. But you know, I mean, I mean, we are getting some tears. We are getting some tears. I'm getting wrong. Yeah. Um. But yeah. But then I was, I was right. This, I was right in the sense that the main game was coming out next year. Just everyone was saying it was coming out this year, and they wanted it to be like 1080p, 60 frames per, per second, open world, and all that junk. MMOs. And we just got Ultra Sun and Moon, so like that doesn't make any sense for them to to, to develop um, a game of that scale so quickly. Yeah, well, I, I mean, it would make a little more sense because uh, they actually have had their newer development team begin working on uh, Sun Moon and then Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon while the veterans were working mm -hmm. on performing the Switch. So it would make a certain amount of sense, but on the other hand, keep in mind how many 3D models they have to make now in HD. Like, they're moving the jump yep. from the 3DS to the Switch. That's a big jump. Yeah. Like, that that takes a lot of work, and it's going to be awesome yeah. when it comes out, but give them time, guys. Mm-hmm. I just... Um... Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, so speaking of the main game, I just really hope they bring back um, triple battles and rotation battles. Since they were cut from Gen 7 due to the uh, due to the very high yeah. lag in double battles. Oh my gosh, yeah. They were not optimized, and it wasn't even that much better on the new 3DS from what I understand, which is just like, oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, I've heard about that too. I mean, I've heard it is some better, but not quite enough to justify it. But... There's also Pokemon Quest, which is coming out for the Switch and uh, yes. smartphones as well. So, have you seen that yet? Or I've only seen just the pictures of it and everyone complaining about it before <laughs> Let's Go was revealed. And people are still complaining. I mean, that's an issue of things you can't please everyone. I mean, it's not like <laughs> where they just show, boom, Smash Ball, Inkling, done. Everyone's happy. Uh, yeah, because so many people are expecting different things with this game since they're taking a, yeah. a grand leap, and and because um and because of the mindset of them believing a new game was coming out this year, they they um, they're setting themselves up to be disappointed. Yeah, essentially. yeah. Which is why I went into that trailer without any um without like looking back at rumors or leaks or anything. I just took them with a grain of salt. Yeah, well, I committed uh, what's known as uh, 
the genetic fallacy in terms of it, you know, just because some bad source says it won't says it won't happen does nothing to actually support the fact that it won't happen. It just does nothing to support the fact that it will happen. It's just like, <laughs> I'm slightly disappointed in myself, but <laughs> I'm also uh, I have very mixed feelings, but overall uh, kind of happy with the announcements. Um, a little disappointed that it's com coming in the second half of 2019. I was hoping it would be in uh, sort of mid 2017, but what are you gonna Something do? Something like May, so you can play it during the summer. Yeah, like it's going to be, I think, like a year and three months from now, more or less. Something like that. Yeah, around there. And then probably on like um, November 17th or 18th or whatever weekend that is. Yeah, that, that's when Nintendo loves to release things. Um, on the bite side, Smash is coming out in 2018, so that, that'll that definitely keep us occupied. Um, yep. Yeah, uh, I wish they gave us at least this tiniest teaser of Pokemon for Switch, just if it was like five seconds of footage, the, everyone would have lost their minds about that. <laughs> they would have, but um, I think they should they should wait until um, yeah, wait until, until like next have, year. Yeah, wait until they actually have stuff to show. Cause, and then if they do that, then the Pokemon anime might have to follow up on that, in a sense. Yeah, you, you gotta wonder if Ash is kind of stuck in some sort of weird Groundhog Day where he keeps joining <laughs> a new Pokemon League, but he never wins. And he's gotta find um, a way to break the cycle, but he can't. Kalos was close. It was very close. Was it? Until yeah, he went. He got to, um he got to the finals against um a trainer named Milan, and he's met with him like throughout throughout the last season of Kalos. Like his, he can mega evolve it. Alon can mega evolve his Charizard into um, Charizard X, and yeah. it's just really powerful. Yeah, I'll bet. It's, yeah. it's able to, it's able to hold its own against um, some of the primal legendaries from Hoenn. Jeez. Yeah, it's like if you want to, um, yeah, um, what, what's it called? The strongest mega evolution specials. That's where you can see Alon do his training. Oh wait, uh, is the Mega Evolution guy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I remember that guy. Oh, that's actually really neat. Uh, yeah, that's who Ash faced against in the finals. Oh, I should actually watch that. I I don't watch much of the anime, so I do enjoy watching the league a lot more because there's more tension because Ash can lose. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, I I remember liking the Sinnoh League actually because uh, Sinnoh League was so was so epic. Yeah, I mean, he bought out a lot of Pokemon, and it wasn't sort of the cutesy thing. Like, Ash was actually, you know, focused. He was like, okay, here's the strategy. I'm going to switch out. Here you go, Heracross. Go in, finish this off. And it's like, oh, wow, that's actually really cool. It's paying homage to a lot of the Pokemon he caught earlier and, you know, things like that. Yep. Yeah. The Hoenn so one. Sorry, you on? Oh, I didn't say anything. Uh, the Hoenn one, well, epic. Um, well, well, actually, not epic, and that's kind of my critique of it. Um, I liked it, um, but I... I like some well, of the I, battles of yeah, it. I, I liked Hoenn, but I thought that Ash was having too easy of a time getting the next match. Um, he made it to the finals, and it's just because this Pikachu fell over that he lost, and it's like, okay, you're cutting it a little too close like actually for Hoenn yeah for Hoenn remember he got he got top eight didn't he get second against no uh, that's that Kalos dude's meow hang on I'm, that, yeah. I'm looking that in up top eight, yeah look it up but in Hoenn he got top eight and he lost to the dude's meow because team rocket's meow told him all of Pikachu's weaknesses I actually don't remember that, but I'm willing to take your word for it on that one. Hang on. Big placement. Yeah, I was a little disappointed with Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when I first played it. Uh, my nostalgia goggles protected me from some of its imperfections, but looking back on it, oh, they actually sent out another tweet. Is there anything new? Even more news trainers, a special Pokemon reference at the end of the book. 
uh, end of the Pokemon Let's Go trailer is referring to a Pokemon never seen before, so they're actually going to be unveiling a new Pokemon, possibly in that game. Yeah, probably, probably for Gen 8. Probably. League placements. Hang on. Oh, looks like you were right. I guess I'm misremembering. It's like 1,000 episodes. So I yeah. can't blame you. I mean, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I wish they would just allow Ash to just win. Then we could get a new protagonist for every season or so, and it'd be kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh. Not that Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have its problems, I mean, not saying that. I mean, they would do that, but then he wouldn't really accomplish his goal of becoming a Pokemon master. And that, that's a goal that he'll never really reach. Yeah, because... because of the way it's set up. <laughs> yeah. They, they never really mention how to become one. They just state that's what he's trying to do. That's a good and point. And so people right? assume that... He, People would just assume that it's just to win the league or become a champion of a region or anything, but it's, it has to be way more than just that. Yeah, uh, that's actually a good point. So he's essentially on a never-ending quest for more, <laughs> multiple reasons. He's after an objective that, one, he's not allowed to reach, and two, might not be possible to reach. Exactly. So it's like double no, yeah. All right, but uh, it was good talking with you, man. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, that pretty much wraps up my thoughts. Do uh, you have anything to add about just general Pokemon stuff? Um, no, just just one message. Never, never, never put your hopes up for something so ridiculous. Wait until an official announcement. <laughs> That's all. Yeah, wait to wait for the facts. Exactly.